Hi there, my name is Amo, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Twitch chat command. That basically means that whenever somebody types in a special keyword into our Twitch channel chat, uh, it will cause something interesting to happen on our broadcast. So to start, uh, I'm going to click this open library button here in the bottom left hand corner to open our library. And then I'm going to pin it down by using the pin button here, so it kind of keeps it fixed on our user interface. It'll make things a little bit easier to work with moving forward. So uh, the first thing you want to do is add a Twitch alerts. So we're going to hit this plus button here on the left side, and then I'm going to add Twitch alerts. And that adds a new object into our library that basically is where we can access all the different types of alerts that Twitch sends our way when interesting things happen on our Twitch account. So whenever somebody cheers us, whenever somebody subscribes to us, or whenever somebody types in a message in the chat, we are alerted uh, through this object here. And then it's here where we can then send the, make those alerts, make something happen inside our canvas, inside our broadcast. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is connect our account if we haven't already done so by clicking this connect account uh, link. That will open our web browser to Twitch to authorize Polypop to access our, um, to our alert data. So I'm gonna go ahead and authorize it. And then once it says that Polypop is authorized, we can just close the web browser and you can see that it's now connected. So if we look at the bottom here, we can see this chat alerts line. I'm gonna just hit the plus button here to add a new chat alert. And if we expand the chat alert item that it just added here, you can see that um, it has a few properties. The command property is where we can basically type in whatever word we want uh, to, to look for to trigger this command alert. So right by default, it's set to this exclamation point my keyword, but for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna make it um, be hello. So whenever somebody types in hello into our chat, in this case, um, anyone can, um, since we have the privilege set to anyone, but you can make that, uh, you can limit that down to a specific, uh, to only subscribers, to moderators, etc. Um, so that only those people can trigger this alert. But in this case, we're just gonna leave it at anyone. So when anyone types in this command, it will trigger this on command alert to fire. So all we have to do now is just connect this alert um, to things inside our space, things inside our broadcast. So um, I'm gonna have it do two things. I'm gonna have it uh, emit some particles when somebody types in hello. And I'm gonna have it also write the name of whoever typed in hello uh, onto, our, onto our broadcast. So let's start with the particle effect. So I'm gonna hit the plus button here. I'm gonna to go to 3D and I'm gonna add three particles. And if we just uh, hit a burst here, we can kind of see what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit, do something a little different. I'm gonna do hard circles and then I'll choose a different color here. I'll use um, kind of like a reddish color. Hit okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that's what's gonna happen whenever uh, somebody types in hello. So all we have to really do now is just connect uh, this on command alert here to the emit burst action of our 3D particles. And that's now connected and good to go. The other thing I'm gonna wanna do, I wanted to do is also have the name of whoever typed in hello um, appear on our, on our screen as well. So I'm gonna hit the plus button on the right hand side and I'm gonna add one of these split flap texts. This is a little bit of an animated kind of uh, different type of text. And I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so that we can fit in a bit more some more characters since people's screen names tend to be a bit longer. And I'm gonna expand the characters per line. So the other thing we have to do is just connect our on command to the text field of this uh, split flap text so that the uh, username will get transferred in. So again, I'm gonna pull out another wire from the on command alert and I'm gonna connect it to the text field of our split flap text. Now when we do that, we're presented with these wire properties. This lets us control what data is inside the alert that we wanna actually write on the text. So you can see it has two items here, the message, which is whatever message the user writes following the command, and then the username itself. We're just interested in the username, so I'm gonna delete message here. So basically this just says, take whatever username is in the alert and make it the, the sole uh, text of our, uh, of our, um, of our alert, of, of our split flap text. So if I close this wire property, we can fully test this by clicking this test button here. When we hit test, it's gonna generate the command and you can see now that our username, along with the particle effect, is set on our split flap text. So if we test it again and again, you can see that it's updating with new usernames and the command is firing. So let's go ahead and test this live by going to uh, our Twitch chat. So I'm gonna open our stream manager here and then I'm just gonna pop out the text so that we can kind of look at it simultaneously with the app. And then I'm just gonna minimize this. 
So whenever somebody types in hello, which in this case, it's we are gonna write it ourselves. it should create a particle effect in our scene and set our username, which is us, since we're the one writing it in, um, on our um, split thought deck. So I'm gonna type in hello, hit enter, and there it goes. Our username is updated with our username and the particle effect fires. So you can kind of, the sky's the limit. Um, you can um, you can create multiple chat alerts. You could look for specific characters, keywords, um, uh, and cause all sorts of interesting things to happen. You could switch scenes. You could you know do a little animation. You could cause things to fire, things to emit. Um, all sorts of creative things are possible um, using chat commands. So I hope that was interesting, and I will see you next time.